welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay and you guys are watching 25 DIYs of Christmas. my channel we are doing DIY aprons today and now these are not just DIY aprons they're actually using patterned uh, Disney patterns that I found at Joann's I bought them like seven or eight months ago and then it was getting closer to Christmas and I was like these aprons need to be made because they're too cute and they need to be a part of this series. So what I did was I spruced them up and made them a little bit more than what they're intended for. They're intended just to sew and put on. But what we did was we backed them, we lined them with some really cute fabric so that they're not only, some of them are reversible, but some of them we added embellishments to. So I'm gonna show you these aprons and the adorable footage I got of these little girls baking in my new kitchen. The new kitchen tour is coming soon, I promise. Okay, let's get going. All right guys, so when I found these fabrics at Joann's, I was just so excited and I actually had to buy them all because they were so cute. So this has instructions on it and it tells you to just cut them out, sew the sides and sew the pieces together. And it also encourages you to use an imagination. So that's what I decided to do. I wanted to amp these up. The materials you need are needle and thread, scissors, and an adventurous heart. So I'm just gonna press this out. You can use your iron, but I am using my easy press just because I always have it out and it's easy to use. But I took some Mickey fabric and backed these with some cute different Mickey fabrics. I did make a few of these, but I only got final shots of one. So I'm just gonna cut out all the pieces like it said, but I'm also going to cut out the same pieces in the Mickey fabric. So now I'm going to put right sides together and pin them, um, and I am going to cut along or sew along all of the pieces. I'm gonna start with the straps, leaving a piece open so I can turn it right sides out. I know I do a lot of no sew projects, but I do wanna show you guys that I do know how to sew, which is magic, but I also love that I can show you guys how to do no sew projects. So we're gonna take the straps and put them inside. I'm just going to make sure that when they flip back out that the Mickey side shows with the Mickey and the pink side shows with the mini. I'm just going to curl them up so they tuck inside nicely and I'm going to pin them in place so that they don't get in the way while I am sewing and I accidentally sew them into the apron. So now I'm going to make sure everything is pinned and I'm just going to take my serger and sew along leaving everything enclosed except the neck. Um, fun story, this is my first time ever using my own serger. I've used other people's sergers, which I know how to use the sergers, but it took me about an hour just to learn how to thread the thing, and it gave me an extreme headache. That's why I only am showing you guys one today. So then I'm gonna take some hot glue and go back to my sewing, my no sew roots, and I'm gonna put on some cute embellishments. So I just used some of this leftover ribbon, and that's it. This would be a super cute gift to give for Christmas to any of the littles in your life, and I can't wait to see you guys do this project. Don't forget you can get these at Joann's, and they're super fun and super fast. 